welcome back to the channel. Um, we're going to do something a little different uh, tonight. Uh, as you can see, we're in my house. So um, I know in the last video I said that I would do a gear review of what I brought with me on that trip, but due to the weather and the, um, the high wind and everything, not being able to get a fire, um, we didn't have a chance to do that. So what I thought I'd do is uh, here tonight, we'll just pull everything out of my pack. I mean, I haven't even unpacked it. It's been sitting in my truck. I went to work today. It was in there all day. Um, come home, brought it in the house, and I was like, well, I'll just do the, show you guys what I took with me on my trip. Alright, so, uh, first thing you'll notice is the pack itself. This is a Amazon's Basic, uh, 75 liter pack. It's just like the Teton bag. I, I guess they partnered on a bag together, and this is kind of the result of it. Um, so we'll just kind of go around. Um, here's one of my water bottles. It's just the, it's a Camel Pack. Uh, Camelback from uh, I got this at Cabela's this was awesome to take with me to store water because as you guys seen there was really nowhere for me to get water so I had this one with me and I also had um, my bearded camper aluminum canister one so I had those two this one still has a little water in it. I'll, I'll clean it out um, everybody's seen this already this is my Eddie Bauer down jacket the, these things are really warm so i love this thing uh here's one of the trek poles i have i have the other one sitting over there these are just 20 dollars trek poles i got at walmart they're the ozark trail ones they do really well i mean trek poles shouldn't i mean unless you're getting the carbon fiber ones these aluminum ones work just fine if you bang them up they're really inexpensive to go back and get a another set in this side pocket here this is a, I love these, these hand warmers. These things kept me warm that night. I threw a bunch of them inside my sleeping bag. Um, Zippo lighter, uh, little fire starters, matches, flint and steel. What else is in there? A little Gerber pocket knife and a knife sharpener. In the top here, it's my toothbrush, toothpaste, some baby wipes. This is uh, my silky saw, a little folding saw. This is the Gomboy silky saw. This is, this is really good for uh, cutting up wood and stuff. Uh, turning it around to this side. Uh, in here oh, more hand warmers so I had an abundance of hand warmers because I use some too so it's a little thing for my camera um, this part here this is my Rakaria uh, designs tent this is the orange one that was in the video this is supposedly a four season um, tent it is a, a double wall tent and it does have the net so I think more this is more for a three season, but it works really good being a single man for a four season. It does have the aluminum post and not the uh, carbon fiber, so that works out really well. They're more durable. Only issue with the aluminum ones, though, if it gets really cold, <coughs> they like to freeze together, so you kind of have to blow on them to thaw them out. Um, nothing really in the top. Oh, on the bottom is my, uh, my sleeping pad. Uh, the insulated sleeping pad I have on the bottom. I put that underneath my Cabela's intact pad. But like I said, when I left camp, I just stuffed everything in this bag. So <laughs> however I pull it out, it's how it got shoved in there. I gotta pull all this stuff out anyway, repack it. But here's my back, oh, my light. My little lamp headlights are not headlights, but my tent lights are still flashing. Battery's about dead in it. Uh, more. These are toe warmers. I'd throw those in there. Uh, here's my little spare battery packs I had. Due to the cold, I forgot to put them inside my sleeping bag with me to keep them warm. They they died out instantly. Uh, a little USB charging cord. More hand warmers. I actually get sponsored by Hot Hands. I use enough of their crap. This is the bag that my sleeping pillow goes into. Like I said, I just shove stuff in here. This is the uh, 
This is the Cabela's, uh, in, oh, sorry, Instinct. I've been calling it Intag, in, Instinct Pad. This thing is awesome. This is the one that uh, my wife bought me for uh, Valentine's Day, and I've used it. I've used it three times already. And I, I love this thing. It makes a world of difference having the right sleeping pad. What else is in here? Oh, this is my generic uh, knockoff jet boil. This thing is amazing. This is, I think the brand is called Blue. It's B L U U. I got it on Amazon. It was like uh, $60, 70 But this thing is a beast. It, it works awesome. Um, my salt and pepper I had. This is the base that goes on the bottom. It's got your standard little burner. But yeah, it sets up just like just like a jet boil. I even got the jet boil fuel for it. Um, headlamp. This little Bushnell one. Um, usually I keep it here when I'm hiking in somewhere in case I need to if I need light or anything like that, I don't need to be reaching all the way down into the into the pack to get it out. This is for my camera system. It's just a light. Probably work better right here. Yeah, I don't care. But that goes on light when I'm videoing at night. Uh, another tent light. Here's my sleeping pillow. This is the Bass Pro Shops Eclipse pillow. It works really well. It folds down quite small. I mean, not as small as one of the, well, not as small as one of the inflatable pillows, but it, it does good. Um, oh, here's my one Tigris uh, camp chair that we didn't need because it had logs everywhere. Um, that is about it. Other than. This big old behemoth. This is the Teton sleeping bag, my Sub-Zero bag, and this is the Double XL because I'm a kind of a larger guy. I weigh about 240. Five foot two, 240. I'm a little round pudgy thing. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I'm 5'8, five, 5'9. Five, I'm I'm six foot on a on a good day. Not because I'm wearing my wife's high heels, but just because my ego gets really big. But yeah, I was going to use the stuff sack for this that, that came in the bag, but it just wouldn't fit inside. So I just ended up, I just ended up shoving it in, left the stuff sack, shoved it in here. Here's my condiments and some food. Uh, some, still some beef jerky in there. Some of these, uh, what are those? Cliff bars, Cliff Bar Duos. This is the crunchy peanut butter and chocolate there is coffee in there believe it or not i don't even drink coffee but there's coffee in there but yeah this is the teton just regular old big ass teton oh sorry about that big big old teton but yeah that's pretty much it that's what i took on that last trip um it doesn't seem like a lot man but when when you're hiking that far weight is everything so I'm probably going to look at upgrading my pack a little bit. I'm just, you know, I love winter camping. I like spring camping. I like the cold weather type stuff. But it's going to be a, a nice change if I continue to do these backpacking, hiking type uh, trips. I can actually use a smaller bag. So that's going to cut down a lot of the weight. Um, I won't be taking the one Tigris on me unless I'm driving into camp. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to cut weight on this. So the less weight I can uh, carry, the further I can travel. It's going to help me build up my endurance. So if I ever have to go back to a heavy bag, I can do that. But uh, yeah, this is this is what I took on my trip. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you like content like this, uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Um, if you have ideas on what I should be taking or what I shouldn't take, leave a comment in the leave a comment down below, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. But, um, yeah, we're planning on going on another camping trip probably here in about two weeks. I have to work this weekend, so we're not going to go this weekend. But um, we'll head back out, and I think I'm going to take Riley with me. He's super excited about it. It's supposed to be in the 50s, so he'll be all right. But, yep, other than that, man, we'll see you guys on our next adventure. Take care.